G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in that last video, I de-rusted and re-handled this, uh, this nice old file I found on the side of the road. Turned out quite good. And also a little wrench as well. And it was interesting, I had this other little file I found at the same time that I took the, the handle off of. And I said in the video, this is as blunt as blunt can be. I mean, well, I won't say blunt, I'll say dull, because I think that's a better terminology. It's dull. And, you know, in the comments, I had a lot of comments from people, and quite a few from people saying where they'd used vinegar or acid, which is basically the same thing, uh, to resharpen old files. And I was a bit you know, I thought, mm, yeah, I've heard of this before, you know, from a number of people, but never really looked into it. It sounds a bit implausible to me that you can actually resharpen a file, you know, like hard metal with chemical. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a chemist, I can't say for sure, but it just doesn't seem to gel. So the dull file, I mean, you've got to say, is it? not sharp or, or is it clogged clogged with bits of metal and whatever from all that use you know are the actual cutting edges damaged and not sharp or um, are they galled and the cutter grooves filled up the reliefs filled up so I've got my I got this little file and I put it under the microscope last night and here's a, a shot of what I saw in this area sort of down here And you can clearly see that the file is clogged severely and also the cutting edges are quite severely rounded over and deformed. Now here's a video of an area up here which didn't get, you know, wouldn't get a lot of use to see how the, the, uh, the cutting edges would have looked originally, you know. This is a better indicator. And you can see that they are more regular. They are still got some clogging in them. I mean, some of the clogging could be from just rust or it could be from just standing or who knows what, but certainly the jaws, uh, the cutting edges at this end are a lot better conditioned than in the middle here. And yeah, okay. So now to clean the file, will it actually you know, get rid of that gunk that's in there, it probably will. And I'm going to, I could use vinegar or acid like before, but I'm going to get more aggressive. I'm going to use um, electrolysis because electrolysis will physically lift um, all sorts of stuff off of the, the job itself, you know, including paint, so rust, whatever. So 
Electrolysis will be more aggressive. I think it'll do a better job. It can oxidise the surface. Now, if it does oxidise the surface, which almost certainly will do, I don't think it's going to affect the sharpness in any way at all, but I'll then go over it with um, sulfamic acid or phosphoric acid, get rid of the oxide, and then that should give us the best possible result we can get. So, yeah, I don't expect the, the profile of the cutters to change at all. I think that, you know, if you dip something in acid, if you've got an irregular form, well, after the acid's eaten it away, you're just going to have a smaller irregular form. So, I mean, technically, it could be slightly sharper because the, the, curve, the curves are going to be slightly, slightly smaller. But I don't think that's the real issue. I think the real issue is the crap that's in the cutter edges and uh, cutter grooves. All right, I'll rig it up and we'll do it. All right, so I've got it rigged up now to do the electrolysis. Got the battery charger here, just an ordinary 12 volt battery charger. Plastic tub. We've got the file on the negative. And we've got a bit of old scrap steel on the positive. And we've got some washing soda and some water. So now battery charger is turned on. I'll tip in the water. I'll come in close, I'll tip in the water and add the, the uh, washing soda and you'll be able to see it start to bubble. Okay, is it all good? You can see it's starting to bubble, move around the the water. Now, the you know you can't just use plain water. You've got to have an electrolyte, a conductor. So that's why I use baking soda or washing soda, washing soda. In this case, lots of things would work. You could even use sulfuric acid if you wanted to. Now, this will give off hydrogen gas, so you know, pays to not have any naked, naked flames near it. It's interesting too, because you know, when you went to school, as a kid, we were taught that electricity flows from positive to negative. You know, we're all taught that, positive to negative. But in actual fact, the electrons flow from negative to positive in the reverse direction. So that's how it lifts the stuff off. When the electrons flow through the conductor in the water, they carry any rust or paint or any crap with them, loosen it, lift it off, and that's why it always goes from the negative to the positive. Interesting. I mean, I'm not a chemist or electrician, but that's the way it works. Now, this piece of steel on the positive will slowly get eaten away as part of the process. So, just use some old scrap. Don't get your clips in the solution either or they get eaten away as well so and don't use any copper or brass for wiring or anything or on the object because that'll get <laughs> eaten away as well it's pretty aggressive really but it works pretty bloody well so we'll let it go and we'll come back so here you can see the battery charge is pulling out an amp roughly so anything that any power supply that can give you that sort of output will do the job, you know, a computer power supply could probably do it, and uh, whatever you can put your hands on, power pack, doesn't have to be 12 volts, it could be anywhere up to 20, and it will still be okay, alright, but you definitely want 12 or more, alright, moving on, well, it's really getting into it, isn't it, look at that, it's bubbling like crazy, it's bubbling all over. 
I was thinking about taking it out and turning it, but I think it's necessary. It's, it's getting a good coverage all over, and uh, you can see the rusty crap coming out of it. It's, uh, yeah, doing its business. We'll leave that go for a while. And uh, check it when it's finished. Well, I've had the file soaking in vinegar overnight. So what's that? It's roughly 12 hours. And look at all the black, all the metal that's come out. So the vinegar is, looks to be doing a much better cleaning job than the electrolysis. That's really good. I'll show you in the other tub where the electrolysis tub is. And you can see how much residue is in the bottom of that in comparison. So here's the electrolysis tub, and as you can see, I don't think there's, there's as much in there. The, uh, some, of it might, uh, some of it might have adhered to the metal plate, so yeah, hard to say, isn't it, really? It all comes down to how it will clean up when I uh, go over it. It did take quite a bit of rust off, you can see. Wow. This is really cleaned up well, and now you can, you know, if you look at it, you can see where well, you can basically see the, the pattern, whereas before it was pretty much smooth. And you rub your finger on there, and you, know, you can feel it catching all the way. You know, it's it's way, way, way better. It's, it's virtually like brand new. Well, look at that, my, see my finger jumping on it. It's, it's, it's really good. So yeah, but that's because it's cleaned, as I said. And I'll put it under the microscope now and we'll see what we've seen. Well, there you are. You can clearly see what's going on. There hasn't been any magical uh, defying the laws of physics and chemistry resharpening of the cutting edges. The old damaged edges are still old damaged edges and the, the edges up the end here, which have done very little work, look like they've done very little work. They look good. 
So obviously it's purely a cleaning process. That's all it is. And you can see in the tub here how it's just taken out all that residue like crazy. The file is now a lot better, whereas before it was smooth, well now it's not. And I expect that will file great. But it won't be as good as new. It never will be. It can't be. And anybody that thinks that vinegar is going to resharpen a file is living in fantasy land. It will clean it and it will restore the cutting ability of it, but it won't sharpen it. Period. Okay, well, that's it from me. I hope you found it interesting. I found it interesting. I was curious to see how this went. And this was a really, really bad case. I mean, this was as bad as I've seen. And I'm surprised, you know, I didn't realise how dirty and clogged up the file actually was. And until you get a microscope on it and look, you'll never know. You'll never know. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.